this is about to be so loud. Ah, it's so beautiful. That's nice. Not really straight, but I'll take it. All right, you guys, what is going on? So today we're not working with this piece of junk, rather that one. So today's actually pretty cool because one of the things I've wanted to do for this car forever is change the hideous bumper setup that's on this thing. So if you're not familiar, this is my 92 town car. This is like a Gambler 500 style car. It has this stock fast bar bumper on it and then it has this like weird horn thing on it that my buddy built. Sorry, I hate it. I've never liked it. And then it never really, it had a, like a two by six with some like all thread threaded through the back of it as like a rear bumper and I ripped that off. And I got stuck in the desert and they had to tell me about like the frame brace, which bent obviously. So I'm gonna have a bumper. So I'm gonna make a rear bumper and a front bumper for this thing. Obviously I put the door on it. I think I'm gonna swing by the junkyard and try to grab that quarter panel piece so I can fix that. We got a pretty stacked day. Hopping this turd, head down to my buddy's house. We're gonna get moving. Let's see, first crank maybe. Oh, hey, it's still started. Nice. I think there's like a, I think there's like a super tiny uh, air leak in the fuel system. So every once in a while, like it sucks in air, but turn the key off, and fires right back up. Man, that AC. Oh man, it's a great day today. I'm telling you guys. All right, we arrived at our metal supply place. We're gonna get some one and three quarter inch 120 wall and some mild, just some cheap mild steel and get all the materials, start building this bumper. This is our big work truck. We're gonna load all our massive sticks of, of metal in the back of that little thing, nice. All right, we got all of our material for our new bumper. This is, this is safe. Look, dude, you got Zoomies on your Ranger now. That's pretty custom. <laughs> That's how you haul material. I didn't get to build a bumper with that thing. Dang, look at that freaking unit. Holy crap. We got our big heavy duty work truck hauling a big load. That, that's just so funny with all that metal sticking out the back like that. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, there's just a ton of crew owners out here. This thing's sick. Don't mind me. So one thing I noticed about East County and San Diego, everybody has off-road trucks and off-road toys. This is nothing new. So you'll drive around and people see cars like mine or you'll just see full-blown trophy trucks just chilling on the street. That happens. Then you got a lot of the legit East County pre-runners, which is basically nothing but a stock Ranger and white fiberglass that's cracked and some stock wheels. Nice, that thing's sick. It's on coilovers. I think I got another one right here. Look at that. Oh, sick, dude. Pre-runner day. Yeah, this is about to be so loud. Uh, yeah. All right, now we're gonna pull the million skid plate bolts. How many are there? Oh, there's a lot. There's a hundred million of them. Dude, there you is probably that's why I was pull, getting out my PP drill. You probably don't have to pull all of them. I'd pull like half of them, and then we'll keep the underside skid plate. Yeah, them, yeah. And then just make a new one. That's yeah. Dude, there are so many. Holy crap! What do they even thread into? Imagine how long it took to get all of them. This bumper was bright red and I painted it. Because it's a gambler car and they're made to look like shit. And I was like, I'm gonna be seen in public with that. I'm gonna paint it. Sherry realized today. <laughs> God dang, I almost just killed myself. What the fuck is it? It's a, a razor roll cage flipped upside down. And then there used to be the clevises right here where it bolts to the rest of the body. Oh, did you make that? No. They made that? Yeah. That's kind of cool. Yeah. It's also, they crashed it into stuff, which is why it's bent. And it's also, I think, cracked right here. But yeah, good use of what they had, I guess. Yeah. I mean, the whole point of the car was to be able to buy and build for a grand. Yeah. Oh, I like that, actually. So this thing looks way better with no bumper on it. It looked really funky before. Um, we just took the grill out of it real quick. We're gonna kind of, I think we might trim it and try to slide it up so it, we can run the new bumper. Basically starting over on this corner of the light, 
running it all the way down and underneath the grill flush with the rest of the you know underneath the headlight and it'll be super flush and then we'll just tie it into the frame right there uh, and then another kicker off to the lower tube and it'll all kind of go into one so i think this should be pretty simple uh, we'll try to get it as tight as we can that one tube wrapping around the front you wouldn't think it is but it's actually a 10 foot tube i'm um, pretty much going from end to end so we're going to take the one 10 foot stick that we have just lying on the ground right here take the whole thing and then bend it basically all around the front of the car so it should look really good when it's done definitely like a hell of a lot better than what it is now and uh I'm going to start working on getting the grill fitted and make it feel a little bit better before we really start mounting stuff. And that's 10 and that's 20 and that's 10 and this will be 70 so that's 180 so it'll be like cool looks good yeah looks like it looks pretty damn good you should sell these as a kit huh lincoln town car two bumpers 1500 bucks each <laughs> test fit I think we're gonna suck it up a little more but um, ironically enough we got it to fit with the grill perfect, perfectly so you can see it all sucks up quite well right there all the way across and there's a bunch of bends so there's a bend at the end every line is a bend there's a bend in the center there's a bend at the end of the grill there's a bend in the center of the center of the headlight and then there's another radius off to the side but that looks way better so I think what we're going to try now is pushing the grill back and then trying to get the bumper sucked up so it sits more flush with the headlights. And I think that might look a little better and I'll just trim the grill and push the grill up. Just basically cut the top of the grill off, slip it up another inch, inch and a half so we can keep our Lincoln logo because we definitely want to keep that. And uh, I think it'll look pretty damn good, but I'd say that's pretty good already. Sorry for the weird lighting, but uh, it's pretty damn good. <laughs> so we got the bumper tucked up a little tighter now as you can see now it actually fits around the headlight perfect across the grill so we're getting everything marked out for the actually mounting it on the front of the frame right there on the frame horn this car is not a unibody it's got a frame under it so it makes it way easier to mount everything get that all mounted up that all notched up tack it in pull the whole thing off paint it cut the ends cut these guys off and uh we'll be good to go So we're back home we're gonna finish up 
pump around the town car. It's almost there. Uh, we just got to do this other kicker. You can see this kicker comes down. It's missing over here, so we got to put that in. And then I think I'm going to do two stringers from the sides. Uh, basically, I think right up in here in front of the fender, uh, down to the frame. And I think that should be more than enough uh, for this bumper. I also got to weld on the little caps that we made and make the tabs for the valence because I did get a trophy truck valence for this thing. And uh, we'll paint it and we should be pretty much done. But this thing looks a hell of a lot better, that's for sure. Massive thank you to Travis for doing most of the heavy lifting on getting the bend squared away. And that thing is tight, 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 tight. Looks really, really good. Super happy the way that came out. I was very particular on how I wanted this thing to fit. Um, I wanted it to look like a flush, you know, off-road kind of luxury pre-runner in a way. This isn't really a car I feel like driving into the back of another car anymore. It's not really what it's built for, um, but this is more so my desert toy. So I wanted it to look really, really good. And that's what we're definitely doing. So I'm going to go ahead and get these other kickers made real quick and we should be able to paint this thing and call her good. Alright, so this thing is way too big. Keep in mind, this literally came off of like a 6100 truck or trophy truck at my old work. So this is a legit pre-runner, like trophy truck style valence. So it's huge. Um, so I legit think we need to cut this thing in half. Uh, it's way too big. Way, way, way too big for this car. Length is correct. This tube's about nine-ish feet long. I think it's just over nine feet from end to end. This is about a nine, nine foot valence, which is good. Uh, dang, I think the wing just fell off on the other side. Yeah, but uh, definitely too big. Uh, it looks pretty cool but it just looks like a massive mustache right now it's a little bit large so you can't even see the kicker tubes underneath so it definitely needs to be cut in half if i just find center on this and just cut 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 it straight in half i think it'll be good i'm also thinking i'm going to cut these off uh it would be cool to have a little deflector kind of a little bit higher uh just so it you know keeps stuff from breaking the headlight uh but i'm, I'm not sure if it's worth it i also got to keep in mind the way that i route this if it has any sort of wing like this this creates a dead air spot I'm gonna have dead hair is like key for whistling. That's what you see with light bars. You'll put light bars on the dead air and the little little cracks and crevices create whistles and they're super annoying. So if I can prevent anything like that from happening, I will. That's what I'm definitely gonna go ahead and do. <laughs> Rolled up to a little cruise night. Never been here before. It's nice seeing cars that are different than what you're normally used to. Um, and I rolled up obviously in this hunk of junk. So I feel a little bit out of place without my truck. I don't know, still be kind of cool. It's funny watching everybody when they see a thing, they just crack a smile. They're like, what the heck, what is that? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty sick. So we got a bunch of cars over there, a bunch of cars over there. A really big Hummer over here. That thing's freaking sick. Um, so here's a shot at the bumper. We got everything painted. And uh, Tig Well did all the Valence tabs, so I'll put those on when I get all the hardware for it. But this thing came out pretty good. Pretty happy with it. Oh, this thing's sick. It's old school. Oh, really? That's really old school. I like that. Oh, that's actually smart. I like that. It's better than Bondo. It's gonna last longer. Yeah. It's just stitch welded all the way around, so you could actually tab this up, put a headliner in it if you wanted to. Yeah. I like that. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh my goodness. So that's what they look like when they're done. Huh. Wow, this is really nice. This color is actually pretty sick. I don't know if it's like, it looks like kind of similar to like Sean Sonic Blue, but not much metallic, not as much metallic. But I was wondering what steering wheel this is. I was like, that's kind of interesting. The gauges too. It's clean though. I like it. It's like straight as hell too. Dang, just got this thing back from tint, and we're gonna finish up this bumper install by doing the valence, the last step. It's definitely well needed. But dang, that thing looks so sinister, I love it. So I'm heading out of Sean's where we can get this thing mounted up. Finish. All right, so we're kind of dreaming up some little, some spare tire mounts. Uh, this would be pretty rad through the trunk, but I think I got a notch into the back of it, which I don't really want to do. So I'd have to get rid of my fuel tank, which is actually moved into the back of the car. Um, but I think this would definitely look pretty rad if I can get that to work. Um, you guys saw when I mounted it, so I'm gonna finish mounting it, cut it in half, drill, drill the holes, throw this thing on. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this because it looks really stupid. So I have it marked at about five inches instead of uh, nine. <laughs> I cannot see any of the marks that I made, oh my God. Sweet. Now uh, they cut it. Go for it. See how straight she is. Best. 
Nice. Not really straight, but I'll take it. Oh. As we mocked up, this is a 331050. That looks so much better. Oh my god, that looks so cool on a Lincoln. Look at that. It's a town car with like all terrains on it. And these are vision wheels. These look so sick. Gosh, I need I need to get some of these. I don't know, I think we might have to go to a 33. This looks hard. Dude, that's that's a ticket right there, man. That is Dude, a move. There's some there's some machined ones in there. Let's, let's 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 roll those puppies up. Let's see what the machine ones look like. That looks pretty damn good. guys well there you have it that is our finished product it looks so much better than the old bumper i'm not 100 percent done i still gotta put a skid plate down there uh to actually make everything functional but i'd say it looks a hell of a lot better on this thing for sure kind of does give it that little pre-runner vibe i was looking for but yeah you can see we got all our tabs mounted up uh, this valence came out really good. It's a lot better being five inches than, you know, nine or whatever it was before. Uh, but yeah, you can see it wraps all the way around perfectly. Tight tolerance look good. Uh, the grill, we, I actually cut two, two or three inches off the grill, slipped it up, and now the grill mounts flush. A stock town car, it hangs down a lot lower and has a lot larger mouth, so I kind of got this Chick Hicks looking vibe going on. I really like it. And while we were at it, we had this thing broken, and so I went ahead and I fixed this up, and now this guy's on there, which does move, which is kind of cool if you didn't know that. So I got a new one of those, because that's really important and then during the same filming of this video we got a tinted and i went ahead and i fixed this quarter panel there is a video where we're prepping for paint because we are going to paint this car where i go over how i fix this it's kind of like a cheap little fix i mean but at the end of the day i mean i changed out the entire quarter panel piece and the door and it like lines up perfectly it shuts better than half the doors on the car so yeah i'm stoked with this this came out amazing massive thank you to travis you know without him we definitely wouldn't have been able to do this so i'll leave his instagram up on the screen as well as down in the description if you guys ever want fab work good and shoot him a dm i'm his local to san diego and he does really good work as you can see here so we got some other fun videos i broke my fox body so that's probably going to be the next video that comes out and then i'm doing a bunch more stuff with the truck coming up here in the next couple weeks so we're actually bringing that thing back um, but with that being said thank you guys a ton for watching today's video i really do appreciate it leave a like if you did go on and enjoy it leave a comment down below and i'll see you guys in the next video with the town car bye guys